Hello there, I'm Manisha Lanj Gupta from Ananda Permaculture Project and I'm back with another video on sustainable architecture. Now, I'm not an architect, but I've been building a sustainable house at Ananda and I have learned so much in the process that I could not help but share with you everything about sustainability in construction that I have learned over the course of this year. Now, we've built most of our walls in ground up. Some of them are also in stone and lime. But the interesting thing that we've experimented with here is the different roofing systems that we've deployed in the house. Now, it was always my dream that, you know, to have a room which was big enough for me to be able to host like a workshop and people sitting around in a circle. And somehow I wanted it to have a slightly high ceiling with some kind of divine light coming in from somewhere. This was really the idea in my head. And this idea was actually manifested by our architects by thinking of putting a Kaplan vault on top of this uh, room. Um, so Kaplan vault exactly is uh, a system, a structure system that was designed in Spain. So what we have here in Ananda is a combination of, let's say, a dome roof and a Catalan arch. You know, there's a, the way, the method of doing it is the, is the technique of the Catalan. But the principle of the dome is universal. You know, it's like, you know, we've been making domes for centuries and since ages. So how a dome work, let's say, first look at it. So what's special and what's special about this dome? Now, what a dome is doing is, because of its form, you know, it's already kind of bulged out. So the tendency of any material that's standing on the walls would be to, to bend down. But because of its form, it, it holds together. So it's a cohesively strong, you can say, it's a structurally stable form, you know, by itself. You know, that's really what, what is done when you make a dome is, you you create a formwork and then you um, and then you kind of do rings of whatever material you want to be stone, it could be brick or, or any material. And, uh, and you so it's like supported on a, some kind of a formwork. But here we eliminated that, you know. Um, but this technique does not, you don't need any formwork, you don't need any shuttering for this. And then when we saw this idea in some YouTube videos, we really liked it. But we weren't sure that which masonry team would be able to execute this for us. And that is when we chanced upon the team that makes Rohtak Domes. A very free YouTube search basically around Catalan walls led us to uh, seeing some videos about Rotha Domes and we were introduced to the world of Narayanji and his team. We have domes that are in many ways, which are in different ways, in Golai, in Sors, in Jekar type. We have all these domes. So they start building this vault from all the four corners, brick by brick, without any shuttering, without any metal, it is just brick and cement that they start putting from the four edges and every day they would lay a few uh, you know rows of these bricks perhaps you know seven or eight and uh, the bricks uh, magically do not fall to the ground because let's say if i look at these walls and uh, and the dome is obviously exerting some pressure on the walls right so so what we do is we start from the corner of the room and we start from the corner of a room, we create like these, these are like ward like shapes from the four corners. And then, because of the angle and because of this beam that we do around the sides, which has a like a, it's like a, it's a, like a shape like an L. So the brick kind of sits in that L. And also, it's a corner. Right? So we start from a corner and also that L. So it helps basically support that little arc, or if you break it down, they're like a series of arches. 
So these are series of arches that are bending towards the corner. So that's why you don't need any form work here because you put like one little arch which is bending on the corner and then you keep supporting the next arch or that at that angle and then you move progressively. So we start from all the four corners and then we eventually meet. इसमें जो है ये बर्फी आकार में बना हुआ है ये चारों कॉर्नर से स्टार्ट होता है और कॉर्नर टू कॉर्नर निशान लगते हैं इसके जैसे हम जो गोल होता है उसको तो हम सेंटर लेकर राउंड में निशान मारते हैं ऐसे और चोर्स के निशान तो कॉर्नर से कॉर्नर देना पड़ता है ताकि एक जैसा हिसाब आए इसका पूरा क्रॉसिंग का कॉर्नर का Now this um, uh, Catalan vault is actually very sustainable as compared to the conventional steel and concrete roofs that we end up putting in our homes in the city. देखो एक तो इसमें सरिया की जो है मार होती है जो लेंटर के अंदर जो स्कल लेंटर को खत्म करता है सरिया वो इस रूफ के अंदर नहीं होता है और दूसरी बात ये है जब तक ये दीवारें कॉलम स्ट्रक्चर आपका रहेगा खड़ा हो तब तक ये डोम ऐसे के ऐसे रहेगा चाहे वो हजार साल चला सकते हैं इसकी लाइफ अच्छी है और वेट में दस टन वेट तक ये यूज किया है इसके ऊपर गिरी गिरी और भूकंप वगैरह में सबसे बेस्ट है क्योंकि शंकु आकार है काफी फायदे इसके और गर्मी के अंदर भी ये बेस्ट है ये गर्म ज्यादा नहीं होगी क्योंकि मिट्टी की है इसमें पत्थर का यूज नहीं है और शरीर का यूज नहीं है जो गर्म होता है and we managed to rope in a bunch of uh, youngsters from the village who helped us with cleaning all the bricks and really uh, supplying them to uh, Naranji and his team up on the scaffolding that they had perched themselves on and it was beautiful work that we saw between the locals and this uh, talented crew which had come from Rotar and wo aap hum kaafi samay se continue kaam kar rahe hain 18 20 saal se वो आपस में जो तालमेल हो तो हम इशारों में भी देख लेते हैं फिर बाकी अपना करते रहते तो उसी हिसाब से हाथ चलता है हिसाब से वो ये ऐसे करा तुम ऐसे करा विदाउट शटरिंग एंड विदाउट एनी स्टील जस्ट ब्रिक बाय ब्रिक दे एक्चुअली मैनेज टू बिल्ड इट एंड डिड अ फैंटास्टिक जॉब ऑफ इट समथिंग साढ़े पांच दिन के करीब लगे and i hope you found this useful uh, please do subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already and uh, follow this playlist called how to build a sustainable house i can assure you you learn a lot of new interesting things here which you might want to explore in your own world 
So, so much from me. I'll see you again in another video. Bye-bye.